Once on this island, an old tale goes something like this. Born beneath the sand is a young turtle who transforms into a beautiful young maiden at night. She is a friend to all living things. Every day, at the break of dawn, the turtle provides everything the locals need, from the abundance of seafood to the bundles of land vegetations. She offers all kinds of relief to her people out of the pureness of her heart. The locals were pleased with the turtle's kindness. And so, in return, the villagers would welcome her into their homes and treat her like their kin, as though she's part of their families. All year round, the turtle will travel in all corners of the earth, but wherever her flippers bring her, she would always go back to this island, her home. One day, a strong storm swept through the island. The turtle lost her way home, and for a long, long time, true joy was never found on the isle. Until then, the islanders will be waiting for her return. There was one island girl who reminds me of this turtle. Hailing from the island of Shargao, she shares her story of the beauty of exploring the world and finally always coming home to her beloved isle. Come and let's delve right into her own tale. The soft smell of salt and coconut oil in my hair, always just enough to send me down to a nostalgic memory lane, back to the years of my childhood, of sand beaches and crystal blue waters, of my endless daydreaming in the horizons. There is an island where rivers run deep, where the sea, sparkling in the sun, earns its name, Jewel of the South. The music of the breezes through the green plantain, the murmur of the river, and the roar of rain. My heart lies in the surfing capital of the Philippines. This teardrop-shaped island of Siargao has always been home to me. Up from the rocky hills, lush forests, and fertile soils of General Luna, down to its pristine beaches, mangrove forests, and sandy shores. These are the cradle and crib that have nurtured me from infancy to adulthood. However, this island of Siargao is not only the borders of my childhood, but also the source of bread and butter here of the locals in General Luna, Siargao Island. Once on this island, there was a hidden gem. Too shy to show its sparkle. Make no mistake, but the beauty and splendor of this island is unparalleled. Yet for a paradise, it was too often overlooked. A paradise no one has taken notice of. But how did it come to this? Are you intrigued yet? Hi, I am Lady May F. Becerra and let me take you on a journey towards unveiling a potential store spot here in the island of General Luna, Siargao. Duot is a small paradise located at the tip of Barangay Malinao, Municipality of General Luna, Island of Siargao. But the question here is, what makes it a potential tourist spot? Well, pristine seawaters, sandy shores, forests, caves, mountains are of nothing new in the island. But having all of this in one spot is indeed of a whole different sight. So here 
years ago, there was once a bridge that connects the barangay of Union of the Municipality of Dapa and barangay Malinao of General Luna, which is undeniably much closer to travel with. So this is where people used to travel um, from one municipality to the other. However, since the bridge was not reconstructed or redeveloped since its establishment, the only thing that remains in the bridge is its concrete base. So the present local people had no other choice but to travel by land, which is a kilometer's distance. spot different from the other popular spots of General Luna is that it offers you numerous riches. First, it offers you the wide and long beautiful shoreline which is especially evident during low tide. Second, it does not only offer you the vast sea but also the view where one could clearly sight two of the most popular islands of the town of General Luna which is Dako and the Naked Island. Third, it also offers you the view of the neighboring town which is kilometers away by land but only a few meters away by sea. And lastly, it also offers you a tour of its vast mangrove forest. Unknown to many is a small paradise located south of Shergao, specifically at the tip of one of the famous barangays of the popular town of General Luna, the Barangay Malinao. Obscured to most tourists and some locals due to its location, however, the potentiality of the place as the next spot of interest due to its historical significance and tantalizing land and seascape is of beyond doubt. And this small paradise is what we refer to as Duot, historically significant to locals especially of the towns of Dapa and General Luna as years ago. It served as a direct passage between two municipalities with the established bridge interconnecting the Barangay Union of Dapa and Barangay Malinao of General Luna. However, due to the influx of tourists in the town, extensive road projects were launched and thus over time, it was ruined, for it was not reconstructed since then. And today, what remains of the bridge is its concrete basis that in turn adds up to its aesthetic.
The natural beauty of the Ot is another component of its potentiality as a tourist attraction. Most would describe it as a site where the sea meets not only the land, but the interaction of the freshwater and sea waters, especially during high tides. Another breathtaking site that one could witness through this unnoticed location is its beautiful sunrise and sunsets, and the view of two of the most popular islands of the town, the Dako and Naked Island. Duot is only a small portion of land which is totally green, and in its left side offers not only a long and wide shoreline, but also a tour of the vast mangrove forest which is one of the edge of this overlooked paradise. On its right side is the vast sea, with its pristine waters during high tide and its beautiful and broad shoreline and the numerous starfishes that can be found and seen during low tide. While beaches, mangroves, forests are of nothing new in the island, but having all of this in one spot is indeed of a different sight. To answer the question, what is a Siargao for me? Well, Siargao is known as the surfing capital of the Philippines. However, for me, this island is not a mere tourist attraction, hailed as one of the best islands of the world, but a home, my safe haven, a place I consider as a refuge or escape. I was born and raised in this island. The spiritual connection I have with the island is of something irreplaceable. The sea and the life below it have seen how I started to waggle my feet until I have learned how to swim. The sand, with its every grain, have felt the weight of my body as I play catch, running barefoot along the shoreline of the sea, and then how I dig up and created holes in it to build sand castles and sand mountains. In short, the island I have observed and have recorded every bit of myself and my childhood. So how could I not call it as home when I myself is implanted and connected to this island whom others just consider as the best tourist attraction? In the end, the turtle in the tail finally finds her way home back to the island of Shergao. It's a funny thing coming home. Nothing changes. Everything looks the same, feels the same, even smells the same, until you realize what has changed is you. All of our lives, we are looking for a home, and if we're lucky enough, we find it in someone's loving arms. Oh, what joy would it bring! As for the turtle and Lindy's case, they both find a home in the loving arms of their families. And that's what true home really means. That is where the heart resides. Above all the uncertainties in life, one thing is for sure. Home is where the heart is.
Ipanumpakong di ti kabiyan Ipanumpakong, Ipanumpakong Ipanumpakong di ti kabiyan